Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Monday, August the 17th. Well, a very big day for the market today and uh, the most striking feature is the uh, head and shoulders pattern that was completed today. Here we have the uh, left shoulder, the head and the right shoulder and the neckline drawn between the uh, uh, intervening lows of the two shoulders between the head and that's the neckline there. The pattern is completed when we have a solid um, bearish close down below the neckline. We've certainly had that today. And uh, we have a uh, target for the pattern and the target is measured by measuring the height of the head from the top of the head down to the neckline and then we project that down from where the breakout occurred and the breakout occurred at this point here and we project that down and that is roughly around 968, 969 so the market um, uh, should trade down to that target and that area coincides with this area of previous support and that's evidenced by the uh, long shadows on the bottom of these candles here where buyers came in as the market tried to sell off around this area and that is within that region of the target from the pattern now just a thing to keep in mind too when measuring the target of the pattern as I did when you're actually measuring it, measuring it on your chart that should be done when your chart has an arithmetic scale on it not a log scale if you're using a log scale on your chart it um, and doing the measuring te technique physically as, as I did then then it will be a different result and it won't be a valid result. Any physical measuring of the um, target for a head and shoulders pattern or any other um, pattern that we use in technical analysis should be done on an arithmetic scale, not a log scale. So that target's around 968, 969. Now, um, also an important day because we also had a change of trend in the second time frame. And if we look at our uh, peaks and troughs here, we're looking at an uptrend, so we have a trough, a peak, a higher trough, and a higher peak as we took out this area. A higher peak, higher trough, higher peak. Now we had a lower peak, uh, sorry, a lower trough, a lower peak, and another lower trough as we took out this area here. So here we had the peak, trough, lower peak, lower trough as we took out the previous trough there. So we now have a second time frame downtrend. And that means that the character of the market has changed quite significantly. If we look at all of the trending action here in this second time frame uptrend, very few red candles. One, two, couple of red candles here. We had saw the body of the red candles starting to increase, which started to raise some concern about the um, ability of the trend to continue up. And we had this congestion area and uh, more of these red-bodied candles coming in. And now we had the sell-off the second time frame. Very, very large red-bodied candle now. And uh, we had the market closing down at the lows. And it tell, it's telling us that the uh, bears are in control of this market and that they're showing some uh, fairly strong commitment to forcing this market lower. So the trend is down. We need to look to this swing low here for support. Failing that, we need to look to this previous area of uh, resistance, which is 9.56 and look for that to potentially hold up as support if the market does trade down there. And then we have the Kijun Sen as a potential area of support, which is at 9.46. So we should expect the downtrend to continue over the next day or so, looking for it to hold up at this support level. If the uh, market does trend up, then we're likely to trade within this uh, zone of resistance, and uh, we'd have to uh, uh, see how the market was trading in that area, if there was any chance of us taking out this uh, resistance area that um, ends at 1,019, uh, probably not a strong likelihood at the moment. Uh, the market's probably more likely to continue its first time frame downtrend. Mm -hmm.